Well, very recently I got an opportunity to jump on a waka. Um, not only any waka, but Hinemoana Ua, which was heading to Tonga from Tamaki Makoto. Uh, my passion is being on the waka. What I do with my work is all around kaiwaka and all the plants that came on the waka and how we can keep sowing those seeds, keeping our connections, being rooted in the, the land wherever we are in the world um, through kai. What was so interesting about this voyage it was all women and it was headed by our Tongan captain, um, Captain Onofo Javier. Alongside her was Captain Fani from Samoa and Captain Jolene Busby from Aotearoa. So beautiful leadership. And one of the things that uh, I learn about when I'm on the waka is you have no choice but to be present. So being tow and being on the waka, um, being unplugged from all these digital devices and distractions of being on land, you just cannot help but just be at one with nature and at one with tangaroa, with hinemoana and just be. Yeah, now one of the things that I love about being on the waka is connecting to the, the moana. Um, the waka itself and how we need to, to care for the waka but also caring for the crew that are on board. Uh, we end up being very tight crew because we depend on each other. We're up at like uh, three in the morning till six in the morning on our shifts, our clockwork shifts that go 24 hours through the day, through the night, through the winds, through the rain, through the storms and yeah we, we've got to keep our spirits up and we do that through um, many different ways but by the kai that we eat and how we uh, load up and provision our waka before we go so that we're prepared because we know it's not an easy journey um, and there are ways that we can make it easier um, mentally, physically. I love it so much that um, it's always a rewarding experience and I managed to take along, along with me some of the harvests from this place here at Boundary, our garden where we grow ufi to connect to our ancestral roots, which is a Tongan yam, for those that don't know. Took it on board and we managed to enjoy that as one of our meals. So, you know, eating and provisioning our waka like we did in the old days, um, by growing and preparing, is something I'm really passionate about and that's what we do here on the whenua, here in Aotearoa, and specifically Southside in Otara. Kia